Welcome back to the King's Queen, where I teach you how to master your hustle. Today is going to be a fun little quick video a tutorial of me showing you how to create 3D text. I'm going to click the letter T so that a text box pops up. And like I tell you all the time, grab your computers and follow along with me. So we make it easier for you when you're ready to do your own projects. And I'm going to change the text to the word queen, since this is the king's queen. All caps. You don't have to do all caps, but I am choosing to. Okay. And after that, I'm going to duplicate this word two more times. I'm going to... Use the control and D. Okay, now I'm going to put the top layer down and the middle layer in the middle so that when we're done working with them, we can stack them back on top of each other. And this is going to give us a 3D effect. Now, up here on this this is going to be our bottom layer. Our bottom layer, that's where the shadowing is going to be. So I want you all to go to Effects. And we're going to go to Shadow. I want you to turn the blur all the way up to 100. And Transparency, you do not have to go all the way up to 100 unless you want to. I'm going to go a little less than 100. And that's all we do with that layer. Now this next layer, this is going to be our middle layer. So we're going to go, we're still in effects. You're going to go to outline. And we are going to make our outline black. And we are going to go back to the lever where it says thickness. And I want it um, 112 should be good enough. And that's all we do with our middle layer. Now this one is going to be on top. This is where we're going to get our color from. Okay, on this one, we're going to go back to outline. And since my brand colors for the King's Queen are mustard yellow, black, and white, I want my outline to be the mustard yellow color. And I want the inside of the text. Go back up here to regular. Uh, regular color picker for our text and I want it to be white and now I am going to pull the bottom queen up to the middle queen and I'm going to grab both of them and pull them up so they the bottoms of the queen are touching you all see that i'm gonna do it again so that you all can see what i'm doing i'm just making sure it lined up good though did i group them And also, if you want your shot, your your three D um, effect to be drastic, do not line them up evenly. Pull it up a little bit, or pull it over to the right a little bit when you get it over the black layer, and that's gonna make your the three D effect look thicker and more drastic. So I think I'm gonna. have more at the bottom and more at the left of the word queen. So I'm going to pull it ever so slightly to the right and up. I like the way that looks. And now I'm going to drag my cursor 
over both of them at the same time so that they are grouped together and I won't have to worry about them being separated again. Now I'm going to put them on top of the queen with the shadowing. You know, you do is pull it all the way up until the letters are over the shadowing that goes with each letter. You don't have to lay it over them perfectly, but you can tell where the Q is, the U, the E, E, and the N. And you can see it under there. And there we have our 3D queen. Very cute, very simple. Gives your work a, a different flair. But like I said, you don't have to do it exactly like I did it. Like now I'm going to separate these two layers. And I'm going to move Queen down this way. I really like it in the middle, but to give it that extra 3D edge, just kind of pull it over to the left or to the right a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. Or you could leave it dead in the center and you still have that 3D effect because of the shadowing. But I wanted to show you all this. I hope you all can use it for your projects. And until next time, be blessed. Hey, wait a minute. Before you leave, I have a quick question for you. Are you ready to take your graphics business to the next level, but you don't have time to create the graphics yourself? Have no fear. The King's Queen is here. Join me on Patreon. I have three membership levels for you to choose from. I have graphic images, coloring pages, and PNG designs for sublimation. Pick the membership you want, and each month, you will have an unlimited access to all of my uploads. I'm going to be uploading three times a week, giving you a choice of beautiful images and artwork to choose from. So if you're ready to take your business to the next level, but you don't have the time to be as creative as you want to, follow me on Patreon. The link is down in the description.